tell y'all, so I've been running errands all day, and I still got going. I just got a couple of outfits from my besties Alabama friends, so when I come back, I'll let y'all see what I'm packing for my cruise. Because I'll probably incorporate some of the stuff she just got me and take some things out, so y'all get to see me open it up, open it up. I'm waiting on my kid. My son wants me to drop him off at his, um, at his school. And I need to throw some stuff in the mailbox for my two Illinois folks. And yeah, I just had the best two hot dogs ever. I had been wanting some hot dogs. That's why I was sitting up here smacking. And then it had onions on it. So I'm trying to camouflage the kisses. Yeah. I know it ain't gonna work. I know I gotta go home and brush my teeth and use my watch to get the onion out. But I ain't gonna be kissing nobody out there in them streets. And Travis already had to get his sugar. Funky breath sugar. And my baby. Say hi. You got a pimple on your chin. Ooh, a big juicy one. You need to go ahead and bust that. Look in the mirror, do it yourself, or I'm gonna do it. If she don't bust this pimple, y'all, I'm gonna bust this pimple. You on retirement. I'm not retired. I'm a pimple buster. That's no, one of my jobs. I'm a pimple buster. No, you're retired. No, that's one of my jobs. Mm -mm. I got my boy child. Oh, dare I say it, man? Lift it so you can lift it. Okay. Dare I say it, man? Child, say hi to the peoples. Hello. No, you supposed to say hi to the peoples. Hi, people. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all when I get back trying on these clothes. It's 2.30, so by the time I get him there, it's going to be 3 o'clock. I'm going to have to get home by 3.30, 3.45. Okay, I'm, I'm doing pretty good time. I still have enough time to try on these outfits and get them ready to uh, packed up and put in the truck. Up some kind of way. Like that just hanging. Move aside, say. Say the lady. Hi, y'all. I had it all the way out, but I didn't like what it had came on next on the other station. Oh. Uh, Did you call Kenny's here, huh? I was gonna call him now. Say something to the people. Peoples. Yeah. Hey y'all, check this sign out. Be a dad to your kids. That's what it say. You know what? Uh, I hate that they put that in our fucking neighborhoods. Like our men don't know how to be fathers to their kids, but white folks keep kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think that's why I was showing it's not necessarily it. white folks and black folks, poor folks. I mean, we don't have no money. But we love our kids and we take care of our kids. And we don't need no goddamn billboard to say, be a dad to your kids. We don't. That's, some, that's just like them putting one up in here saying, be a mother to your child. I would be insulted. I mean, and the ones that don't take care of their kids don't give a damn about a, a billboard telling them to. They don't. Because they, they didn't do it in the first place. Why they do it for a billboard? Okay, a billboard ain't going to do shit. I mean. That's just wasting again, money. Most people. If financially able, we'll take care of their kids. Because some of some of them deadbeat niggas, they, they be overwhelmed. And they be like, oh God, I just can't do it. And then they duck in half. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. That's stupid. It is stupid. But I don't care what I have to do, I'm going to take care of my kids. Everybody ain't like that. But again, a billboard in our neighborhood don't mean shit. Because it's rich, rich, rich people. They don't take care of their kids. Where we at? We on 45 South. Clark. Clark Avenue. 45 South and Clark Avenue. I don't the taxes. Even... Sentence. That they need to read. What are you watching, person? Yeah, what are you watching? She watching, um... What you like watching? How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother, season one. See. You met, how, how did you meet hey, my mom? Yeah, how did you meet my mama? How I met your mother. How did you meet my mama? Are you at home? <laughs> Alright, we'll be over there in a little bit. You silly. 
I'm sad. How did you meet my mother? He just, yes. You heard him on? Yes. What you want? You ain't gonna answer me. I know how I met you your mother. How did you meet my mother? Royce. You brought me to her? Actually, and I said, she hey. came to you. Oh! We were at the hospital, and she came in there and picked you up. You know, so that was the first woman to come to me. <laughs> you went though. I mean, they brought me to you. You are Venus coming down here. If you riding the, the Birmingham with us, how much? I just want to ride. Whatever you want to put. In the I don't want to put gas in the tank. Okay, there we go. Though. Whatever. But you got to start giving it to me out of each paycheck till she get here. How Even much? If it's only five, ten dollars, just something. God, dog, look up. That's right. You want something for everything. Yes. You saw your eyeball. I give you about ten dollars Friday. I'll put it. I'll put it with the the two hundred. I been saying I know you ain't just saying. Won't you leave that hundred in there? Cause I might need to transfer it. All right, I'm pull all of it out and me and put hundred back. No. I just want to look at it. Why you should be on? Yeah, I, I thought you said leave a hundred back. No, I said leave the whole two hundred in there. All right. Just Cause I might need to get it. What is you talking about, precious? Why is this be on? What be on? I don't stink, my nigga. Do you know what B.O. means? I, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gave it to you. Don't care. So, I went to my first sip and see. Again, it's a scam. It's just a way to get extra gifts for your baby. Here you go. They fix you, you know. They have food and drinks. You bring diapers and wipes. And then, like the middle of the party, they open up a box. Balloons come out the box. And if it's a certain color, it's a girl. If it's a certain color, it's a boy. And you get to know the sex of the baby. At the same time that mommy and perhaps daddy get to know the sex of the baby. This is what happened when... My bestest Alabama friend, oldest child, realized she was having a baby. Hey, so I like to die. It was so funny. She wants a boy. She's having a girl. And she don't appreciate that shit. She don't appreciate that shit a little bit. <laughs> but I told her, when my son, like I told y'all, I think a couple of vlogs ago, when um uh, when I was having my boy child, my man child over here, they told me I was having a girl, a boy, a girl. I had decided, ordained, knew, and believed I was having a boy. And I believed that God was going to give me what I wanted, which was a boy. And what did he do? Because won't he do it? He gave me a boy. So I got exactly what I asked for. When I was having my daughter, again, I knew I was having a daughter. And I didn't, I don't think the doctors even told me. They might have told me. But I don't think they told me what I was having with her. I just knew I was having a girl. It just really didn't fucking matter. So I told her, it's a possibility they could be wrong. So she shouldn't let it upset her too much. And um, I went, got the little last, last odds and ends that I needed to go and take with me on my cruise. And we were leaving. She said it's 6 in the morning. If my words are blurring together, it's because I'm a little bent. I've been drinking um, punch punch. And it got great glucose in it. And then we had, I had five jello shots. Cause my son would only eat, no I had four jello shots. Cause my son would only eat two. And I couldn't waste them. And, and my special friend wasn't here cause really I had got two for him, two for my son, and two for myself. But he wasn't here. He lost his. And then Ray's almost lost his cause he was acting funny. But the jello shots I think are way more potent than the, than the hunch punch. So, but 
that's all I did today. I was right around doing errands, getting my last eyes and ends together. I made my daughter pack up her clothes because she would be going with her Grammy. Her Lola. My son will be here and hopefully, sorry, hopefully he'll be, I thought you was writing the paper. Hopefully he'll be nice enough to go get his sister and, and bring her over here to get her away from Lola every now and again. Because that's, whoo, that's going to be so bored. Because <laughs> Lola don't want to do nothing, go nowhere, she's going to be so bored. That's okay, that's her Lola. Sometimes you got to be bored with your Lola. That your wooden beard. Mm-hmm. I don't have shit else to say. I want to see what I wore to the um the sippy seat. Give me a second. Let me finish getting this polish up. I wanted to go get my nails done, but I got I ran out of money. My money got low. Got low to the flow. Mm, got low to the flow. So I couldn't go get my nails done. So. Instead of being ghetto fabulous with all kind of messed up colors on my nails, I just don't have any paint on my nails. So my son wouldn't get my nails done. Nope. Why he being mean to me, y'all? I don't deserve it. I don't do nothing love him. I don't do nothing love you. Do you really? <laughs> okay, I'll let y'all see what I had on. Um, my um, bestest Alabama friend. Bought me these pants to go on the crew, but I ain't like them enough for them to go on the crew, but I like them enough to wear to the thing. So this is what I want. And I think I look quite fit. No, you don't. Huh? I don't. Huh? That's what he gonna make me do. Too much do. Too much, Jim. After all that, our digestive systems can act up. So try the activity. Y'all should see the look on his face. Come on. <laughs> he know I'm silly when I've been drinking. He need to leave me alone. All right. I'll talk to you guys. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to upload. And it won't be a chopped off video. It's just going to be a straight vlog because I'm being able to do it on my other um, tablet. And then I ain't got the memory capacity, nor do I want to play with it like that because it doesn't do just as good of a video as this. So, y'all be getting like a straight five-minute blog first thing in the morning. just be, Either just before I go into the summer or right as I leave out the summer. Y'all get a blog. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. How you love me on the bus, I like doing it one question, and they all about us. Could you love me in a family? Could you love me on the bus, I like doing it one question, and they all about us.